In this video, we are going to talk about 10 cars that billionaires choose to daily drive. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. Here's a list of 10 cars that billionaires choose to daily drive, let's start. Drag underscore indicator. Billionaires pick their daily cars very intentionally, and it's almost never because of speed, luxury, or appearance. Add underscore circle. Billionaires are an elusive and exclusive bunch who tend to be discreet rather than flamboyant. Looking at the rides they buy to show off can make people swoon, but what about the cars they choose to drive daily to their massive office complexes and vacation mansions? A pattern emerges when you really get into it. Billionaires tend to pick the dumbest and most discreet cars they can while still allowing for comfort. Normally they pick cars for just one reason, like exceptional range or even how it feels to fit in the back seat, where many spend most of their driving time. What's even more surprising is that 8 of the cars on this list are silver or white. Colors No one would look twice at, even if the car falls on the sportier side of luxury. Unlike celebrities, they don't roll out in iridescent wraps or apocalyptic rig machines that can crush most minivans. Strangely, not one of them is even fitted with bulletproof windows. So, what do the world's elite drive every day? 10. 2021 BMW X5, Suzanne Clatton Suzanne Clatton, 28.9 billion, is the heiress to a multi-billion dollar fortune including a 12.5% share in BMW, thus her nickname the BMW heiress. She could be driving around in a fancy i8, sure, but instead, she opts for a grey SUV. Because, she says, translated via Google Translate. It's roomier and less conspicuous. While her reasons are plainer and less altruistic than others on this list, the new X5 does have 523 horsepower, significant legroom, and is especially hard to pick out in a place like Germany. Useful, considering her recent blackmailing. 9. 1999 Honda Accord Jeff Bezos. From the recycled wooden desks of the Amazon employee's desks to the cars he drives. Jeff Bezos, $193.3 billion, has tried to make it clear that Amazon only spends money on things that matter to the customer. He used to drive packages to the post office in his 1987 Chevy Blazer until his net worth was just around $18 billion, at which point he upgraded to an Accord of the same year in 1999. Yes, the Accord was winning safety ratings and proving its reliability but the principle of the car was that he wanted to have the appearance of being frugal. When asked why the Accord? On 60 Minutes on CBS he replied, this is a perfectly good car. Related. The Honda Accord wagon was a staple of the lineup for decades. 8. 1997 McLaren F1, Elon Musk. Elon Musk, $182.1 billion, is known for his innovative mind and off-the-wall ideas. This is the same guy who sold the public flamethrowers and bought the original Lotus from the spy who loved me to make it a real submarine. McLaren has been known for making cars that are comfortable as well as fast, and he was so impressed with it that he started Tesla to try to outdo the McLaren. He drove it every day until he crashed it after adding 11,000 miles to it when Peter Thiel asked him, what can this thing do? That was in 2012. Now he famously drives a Tesla Model S but in all honesty, does he have a choice? And how long until he makes a center driver Tesla to match the F1? Related Elon Musk's first car. A detailed look at the BMW 320i. 7 Toyota Prius, Larry Page. Larry Page, $116.4 billion, is the founder of Google along with Sergey Brin. They both opt to drive Priuses and have for a while now. Prius was the platform for Google's crack at the self-driving car, seen around California. True to Silicon Valley form, the Prius is a fine choice if only for their hybrid tech making them eco-friendly. It helps that its range is a lot more than normal sedans and hatchbacks, getting almost a full 600 miles before needing a refill. 6. 1955 Ford Custom Line, Mark Cuban Mark Cuban, $4.4 billion, has a thing for classic cars, not just the fancy luxury cars they show at the beginning of Shark Tank. He's been seen driving away from Maverick Games and Shark Tank filmings in his 1955 Ford Custom Line just for fun. He doesn't own it anymore, he sold the Gas Monkey Garage built 3-speed V8 at auction. Now he drives around mostly in a Mercedes-Benz S600 Pullman Guard, a small limo that fits his whole family. 5. Honda Fit, Mark Zuckerberg Besides being the cheapest new Honda in the lineup, the Fit makes a lot of sense for him like the Zuck, $130.8 billion. He chose grey of all colors, 
and while he's never commented on it, it's assumed it's because of how discreet it looks. It doesn't hurt that the Fit gets 40 miles per gallon without any hybrid complications and that it also fits into any parking space you can find. We know it wasn't because he hates going fast or being flashy because he also happens to own a Pagani Huayra that cost him $1.4 million. Related, here's why the Honda Fit is the best subcompact car of 2021. For Warren Buffett, Cadillac DTS. A true American, Warren Buffett, $103.7 billion, has preferred domestic cars, particularly Cadillacs like the XTS and, more recently, the DTS his whole life. This isn't surprising for a gentleman who's 90 years old. The beige Cadillac, however, is as plain and unassuming as any retired person would buy. The DTS is an all-wheel drive V8 4.6 liter making almost 300 horsepower, which is reasonable for a 4,000 pounds car. While it's hard to tell 2017 from 2001, the Cadillac Buffet chose was from 2006. He always chooses to be driven around, probably, again, because of his age. He signed and sold in a few years ago for a newer model year. Related, 10 coolest classic Cadillacs. You can buy for under $15,000. 3 Porsche take in, Bill Gates. Gates has a long history with Porsches, including a rare 959 he had to pass a special law just to import after a decade-long fight. Now, his first electric car is a Taycan Turbo S, it makes 750 horsepower and does 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.4 seconds. In his interview with Marks Brownlee on YouTube, Gates says he liked what Tesla has done, and how it has pushed Porsche to innovate. He makes it clear his purchase is part of him supporting Porsche for their bold first step, even if the Taycan does cost far more than the Model S. Everyone who's driven the Taycan say that it's far from a Model S, with Porsche handling and functionality. The Tesla hasn't learned yet, having never done races of any kind. Related, here's why the 2021 Porsche Taycan RWD is perfect for your daily needs. 2.Audi A8, Amancio Ortega. Amancio Ortega is called the godfather of Spanish fashion, the founder of Zara clothing who's worth $78.2 billion, and yet drives a car that costs just 0.0001% of his net worth. The A8 of his choice isn't the W12 or even a hybrid. It's the base model, in black. While he tries to stay out of the public eye, he's only allowed three journalists to interview him ever, we do know he drives the A8 almost every time he's spotted. The luxury German sedan is spacious and has all-wheel drive, but that's not even necessary where he lives. 1. Lexus LFA, Larry Ellison. The winner of the billionaire cars goes to Larry Ellison, $116.3 billion, a 76-year-old driving a 25-year-old person's car, the Lexus LFA, a legend in the Lexus lineup. The 553 horsepower V10 goes 0 to 60 miles per hour in a cool 3.6 seconds and rips around the track as well as any Porsche. It even tops out at 202 miles per hour. Although it's a young guy's car, the LFA did cost a cool $375,000 when it was new, before they stopped production. The steep windows that are naturally tinted are a great way to hide in plain sight, and Larry Ellison has been spotted cruising in it down the highway. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.